Alright guys, so here's the machine taken apart. This is the top, well the middle opened. I don't know how to explain it. Um, this is the monitor. Uh, it's laying down on the desk. Here is the... I'm sitting down and it's hard to see everything. So you can see on the top right here, the, uh, the machine is powered on. And um, pretty much I, I removed some RAM here from underneath the keyboard. The keyboard's stripped off. Um, so I'm just seeing if anything was running and it's not as was predicted so let me try and switch this ram around a little bit underneath here so here we are again there's um here I've uh, uh, replaced well not really replaced but I've taken the ram from here underneath the keyboard and I've moved it over here and this other one I've taken out this one was on this side just to see if that makes a difference um so powering back on again um, last time when I powered it on this fan turned on first and then uh, this fan over here on the left and then this second fan turned on a little bit afterwards but now it seems like they both just turned on at the same time running a whole lot faster than it was the last time I just turned it on. Um, but it's still not... I wouldn't call this too loud, honestly. I don't know if you can hear it very well, but I wouldn't call it too loud. Like, it's... it doesn't seem like it's running, like, super hot or anything. Um... You can hear it. It's still running pretty quietly. Um, we still have no picture on the this on the monitor. Um, just trying to make sure everything is kind of plugged in okay. I mean, it really seems like it is. There's nothing kind of loose with the monitor. Um, even if there was, I think there should have been something displaying on the. Uh, on this external monitor over here um, we would have had something displaying on that external monitor if um, if this was actually like just a connection issue with the monitor to the motherboard um, so I'm thinking it's not just a connection it's likely more of a more of a video card issue really um, with reseeding the RAM and kind of switching them around, it's not making much of a difference either. Trying to uh, reboot by, you know, holding, like taking out all the power and holding down the power button for a few seconds, um, more than a few seconds, like almost a minute or half a minute. Trying that multiple, multiple times and then re, you know, putting the power back in, either battery or. Um, the power cable or both or one or the other um, yeah I'm stopping talking you can hear the fans are heating up a lot right now they're running they're running a lot faster and louder right now um, that's after about like two three minutes so uh... I think I have much more to say for this little segment, but you can see looking inside the motherboard, everything looks all right, other than other than this like dustiness that's everywhere. Um, I'm gonna need to clean this out really good. Um, but other than this, uh, just looking at the surface, while well, everything is still um, 
hooked up to the motherboard. Everything looks okay, honestly. Um, I haven't really gone to the other side here. I haven't really flipped it over. I haven't really messed with it other than just opening it and seeing what's underneath the keyboard um, and taking off this top panel and just looking underneath here. All I've really done was look around um, and other than disconnecting the keyboard, I haven't really done anything other than just removing the RAM and putting it on the other side here. Um, so, I mean, that's really making no difference. So, I guess, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't really know what else to try other than trying to mess with the video card and see if it's gonna give something, uh, kind of, you know, show something. I just think it's a little, two little suspicious things that, uh, first of all, it's not displaying anything on the main monitor here on, on the laptop. It's also not displaying on the, uh, on the external monitor but uh the thing that i find kind of strange too is that the um the like in that first like 10 minutes how you heard that it took 10 minutes for the for the windows tone to kind of sound and so that was kind of strange i thought um because usually that's like one of the first things you hear when you turn on the computer if it's working okay so if it was just purely the video card, I would think that you would have been able to hear the sound earlier on and not have to wait 10 whole minutes for it to come on because it doesn't normally take the computer 10 minutes to turn on. Um, I, I should also mention that I took out the uh, hard drive. So um, the hard drive is on the back, the underneath side of this. Um, uh, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm just trying to think out loud here, but, um, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's, like, too late to be thinking about this kind of stuff, it's, like, almost 3, 4 in the morning, uh, but, um, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going with what I was gonna try and do and see what happens if anything and if nothing happens um, I, don't, I don't know I just want to take a look around in here and see if it makes a difference if anything is kind of unplugged a little bit or kind of loose wiring um, honestly everything looks pretty good on the top side here it, nothing looks fried um, none of the solder looks like melted none of the um, I mean, I don't really see any real melting of any thermal compound or anything on this top side. Like, everything looks like it's been working quite nicely on the top side. Other than these fans, these fans are kind of loud right now. They're not really loud, they're just loud compared to how it was when I first turned it on. Um, they're, they're pretty smooth, considering all the dust that's in here and everything. Um... I mean, I think it could probably be a little smoother, maybe, if I cleaned it up a little bit more. I've never been inside here before, so uh, I just decided to do some filming while I'm in here because I don't really want to have to take it apart again because it kind of takes a bit. Um, I don't know if this is interesting at all, but anyways, I kind of made a little scheme here with a piece of foam uh, from the back of a little a project kit. This project kit was from a synthesizer that you kind of put together. Uh, basically I drew the bottom part. Those are where all the screws go. This is the um, kind of the back top part of the monitor like where the monitor is connected to the back panel um, and then this is kind of inside underneath the monitor kind of on top of the keyboard like the, the top four uh, screws that go on top of the keyboard it's kind of keeping things in place I don't have any baggies and I don't have any you know I don't really want to draw out a few pages so I just decided this is going to be quick and easy kind of label things those are 
the hard drive screws for the inside that hold the hard drive in place, the optical drive one screw that kind of holds it in, attaching it to the motherboard and you can see all these other screws from inside the battery um, area not the battery itself but you know inside of the uh, back panel where the battery goes once I took the battery out this is these are pretty much the two screws that I took out there um, there were two screws underneath um, where the hard drives could go if you put one or two hard drives those kind of two screws in the middle you could take those out well you need to take them out and um all the other screws on the outside of the pink part they're just um the screws that go just basically generally that's just generally where they go um and this op again for the optical drive that's where um the screws go for the in interior part of where the optical drive is attached to the case the yeah the case so pretty much that's my way of keeping things um, organized and I hope I don't end up knocking it over or something cuz I'm I'm kinda limited here as you can see with like desk space and like space in general I have my desk kind of like next to my dresser so that's pretty much all the space I get against this whole wall and I don't have any other space in my room other than the floor and the bed which aren't very good workspaces right like you don't want to be losing screws like in your sheets or losing screws on the floor or whatever um at least I don't have carpet right now we have we have wood floors in here so it might be a little easier but I don't, I don't want to risk like waking up in the middle of the night and like stepping on this thing or something so I'm just I'm just gonna keep it off the floor really um that's just the safest bet for me um I mean, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just going to keep at it. Just wanted to keep adding little bits of footage to just see the progress in case anything works. Um, in case anything starts just working by itself randomly, that would be nice. Because I don't really, I'm not really too thrilled about taking things apart more than they already are. But that looks like that's what's going to be happening. So uh, at this rate... Uh, I guess stay tuned and uh, we will keep hacking away this wasn't actually I just want to make one more note this wasn't actually so hard to take apart um, I have another video of uh, of the HD the ZD series ZD 7000 I think it was ZD 7260 US version of a laptop it was a 17 inch monitor pretty big heavy thing and it was uh Dude, that thing, um, maybe it was just because it was the first time I took it apart, but it literally took me, like, almost a day to take it apart. Not a whole 24 hours, but, you know, like, taking breaks and everything, and reading the manual, and trying to keep all the screws and stuff in place. Like, honestly, this one, these are all the screws, really. And that's really not a lot of screws, in all honesty. In all honesty, sorry. I'm, I'm tired, guys. But I'm not gonna go to bed yet. Um... Yeah, so, um, sorry, I'm not really in these videos much, huh? <laughs> but, uh, if you like looking at just, like, machine parts, and you don't want to look at me, this is, this is probably going to be more interesting, but if you're trying to see me, I'm not, I'm just sitting at my desk talking to the camera, so, uh, I don't know. Um... I should probably stop talking because I can't really edit this out, but, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try and take out the motherboard and try and, uh, maybe I'll try and take it out. But uh, at the moment, I think I'm going to try and take it out, and then I'm going to try and just see, you know, if there's anything that looks melted or anything that looks like it's kind of just, you know, in bad condition other than the other than the uh, video card um, I'm hoping that nothing is in really bad condition let's give one more swipe over a visual swipe for you guys so you can kinda check it out yourselves sorry this lighting is terrible 
I know, I know it's terrible lighting. So this is what we're looking at. Um, it's kind of dirty up in here. You can just kind of see everything for yourself. I hope it's not too blurry. Just kind of look at everything. Alright. We're coming up on almost 15 minutes for this segment, so I'm going to stop it so that I can actually upload it to YouTube because I don't want to have issues like I did with a nice video I made before that I was not able to upload and I was disappointed. So, uh, alright. Until next time, you guys. Uh, I guess if you have any comments or anything, just let me know. Alright. Thanks for watching.